Hey guys, today I'm gonna review All Out, an anthology edited by Sandra Mitchell. I received an arc of this through Edelweiss in exchange for an honest review and this anthology comes out February 27th. So All Out is an anthology all about queer characters throughout history. So this is an anthology full of historical fiction short stories and there is definitely a few that have like magical elements in them I guess but there is no story that's like 100% fantasy. It's all historical fiction. These stories feature all kinds of queer representation so there's also ace and trans characters in there although I do have to say they were definitely the minority. I was incredibly excited about this anthology. It has an amazing author lineup and I obviously love queer stories so I could not wait for this anthology and I absolutely loved it. I gave it five out of five stars. My average rating was not close to five stars but I loved it so much and I appreciate it so much that I decided to give it a full five stars on Goodreads and I stand by that rating. I think this is an amazing anthology that was absolutely needed like 10 years ago already but I'm so glad that we have it now and and I would really highly recommend it if you love anthologies, if you love historical fiction, if you love queer characters, if you love any of these things, absolutely pick this anthology up because it's just so great. Now as always with an anthology there's only so much you can say about the overall thing. You will love a couple of stories, you will not like a couple of stories but there was no story in this that I gave one star. All of these were at least two stars and I think most of them actually got four stars so I really loved a lot of the individual stories as well but I just love what this anthology did overall. It was just so great to see so many happy queer stories all in one place like so many of these stories were just happy and cute and adorable and just had happy endings and I just absolutely love that. That just made me so happy. I mean, especially with historical context, not a lot of the queer stories had happy endings. So seeing these historical fiction stories with so many queer happy endings was incredible. I love that so much. A couple of things that I do want to criticize is that I wish there had been a little bit more disability representation. There was one story with a deaf character, which was great to read, but that kind of made me realize that other than that, there wasn't really any. And the same goes for kind of... Um, geographically diverse stories. Most of the stories were set in the US. There was one in Mexico and then a couple in Europe but other than that nothing and I definitely think that was like a missed opportunity. There was a little bit of representation as far as race goes that was definitely there but like I just wish that the stories had not only been set in these kinds of places. And as I said ace and trans stories are in the minority and I definitely wish we had a couple more of that and also like a romantic representation I think wasn't really there at all. There was one story where I thought that could be an Arrow character but obviously there's not really labels used in these stories just because of the kind of historical setting. That makes a lot of sense, that's not what I'm criticizing but because of that it was sometimes hard to tell but I just think in general that definitely could have been more of that. I'm happy to see especially a lot of female female stories in there. I'm not complaining, I absolutely love this but obviously you can combine female female stories with you know ace or arrow or trans representation so yeah I definitely wish we had a little bit more of that but really these are things that are nitpicky. I really just love this anthology overall and you know it could have done more than it did but it didn't have to in order for me to love it. It's just something that I, you know, we have not enough spaces for trans and ace representation anyway. So if there's already like this space carved out, I just wish we had a little bit more, but just in general, I absolutely love this anthology. As always with my anthology reviews, I will leave all of the stories, names and authors, plus my ratings and like little reviews. Some of them have like a couple of sentences, one just have like one sentence, but like I will leave all of that in the description down below. So in case you're interested on my individual ratings or like just seeing the author list, you can all see that in the description. But I definitely wanna talk about a couple of stories that were my favorites. My like number one favorite, was definitely the story by Elliot Wake. This is kind of a queer retelling of Robin Hood. Fucking amazing. I love that story so much. It was a great story, but it was just written in such a beautiful way. And I don't often realize beautiful writing, but in this short story, it was amazing. I definitely want to read much more by Elliot Wake. I also thought that the short story by Anna-Marie McLemore was really, 
really good. It took me a little while to get into it because it has like, I think kind of intricate world building, but I think it was able to deliver all of that world building and the storytelling really well in this short story. I think these were the two stories that I gave five stars. Then another story that will definitely kind of stay with me for a long time is the story by Dahlia Adler. This is a female-female story about like the death of Kurt Cobain and I deeply, deeply related to the story, like an uncomfortable amount, so that I cried my whole way through that story because, I don't know, it just got me on a deeper level and it just resonated with me, not because of Kurt Cobain explicitly, just because of this feeling that the character had because of the death of Kurt Cobain and the way music can connect and the way music can make you feel and this was a story that was way more simple than some of the other stories and it was a story that was definitely not as well crafted as some of the other ones but it was a story that I loved because it resonated with me so much and I think that's another thing that I really appreciate about this anthology. I think this will have a story for everyone. I think there's gonna be a story in there that you will probably resonate with or just relate to and that's so great that just makes me so happy so yeah that was definitely another story that I really really appreciated even though I have to say objectively it's not as good as some of the other ones anyway these are basically all of my thoughts on this wonderful wonderful anthology as I said 100% wholeheartedly recommend this. As I said, there's gonna be a couple of stories that you will love, a couple of stories that you will hate, but overall this is a great thing and it made me incredibly happy and I think it's gonna make a lot of you very happy as well. I can't wait for all of you to read it. And if you have already read it, please let me know any of your thoughts about it below. What was your favorite story? What was your least favorite story? And I wanna hear all of your excitement about it because it comes out so soon. So yeah. I am so excited for all of you to read this. I know you're gonna love it. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.